But when it comes to these two, there really isn't that much of an outright clear winner. Hello and welcome to another video as usual. My name is Jeffrey. This is the Inquisitive Universe. Let's get started. So in this one, we're going to be talking about two new SOCs. Okay, they're not all that new. They were released last year, but I haven't really seen them in a lot of phones in this region, in this part of the world. So if you are looking for a mid-range phone, you may want to check either of these two. Now, one of these is the Snapdragon 7S gen 2 and the other one is the dimensity 7200 now there's a bit of similarities in the name so they are i think most of them are designed to compete against each other i guess but that one is not really important i want to us to put these two SOCs together let them ha let's have them go head to head against each other snapdragon 7s gen 2 versus dimensity 7200 these are the new mid-range SOCs in the world now these are the two mid-range uh, SOCs around we're in the 5g era a lot of the 4g SOCs are are starting to fade off they're starting to go away so if you are going into the market i'm going to assume that these are the SOCs that you're going to be seeing around very soon at this moment in time they're not that cheap they're a bit costly so but we hope over time that the prices will come down and we'll get the level of performance that these SOCs offer so now let's get straight into it both of them upper mid-range SOCs and they've already made their way onto phones uh phones like the um redmi note 13 5g a Redmi Note 14, <laughs> is it 14? No, it's Redmi Note 13 Pro 5G. I think Pro Plus 5G as well. You can also find them on other phones. So now, a lot of people have a Snapdragon bias and a lot of people feel that, you know, MediaTek is okay. So that's why I've, I've come to like, you know, answer this question. SD7S Gen 2 versus the 7200, which one is better? Of course, we're always going to start with performance. You put know me, I'm a performance guy. I like talking about performance a lot. Now, if you check these two SOCs, the uh, Snapdragon 7S Gen 2 uses four Cortex-A78 CPU cores, four Cortex-A78 CPU cores for the main task for handling the games and the heavy stuff, and it has four Cortex-A55 CPU cores for battery efficiency and for taking care of light tasks. On the other hand, the Dimensity 7200 has two A715, two Cortex-A715 CPU cores clocked at a massive, a whopping 2.8 gigahertz. This is a lot higher than what you find on some PCs. I kid you not. And it has six Cortex-A510 CPU cores to handle light task and the battery efficiency. Now, on the gaming side of things, the Snapdragon 7S Gen 2 has, in, has an Adreno 710 and the uh, Dimensity 7200 houses a Mali G610 MP4 GPU, right? So the, the Snapdragon 7S Gen 2 is an ARM V8 SOC. That is last gens. It, it uses CPU cores and GPUs from last gen, from the previous generation of CPUs. The, the, the Dimensity 7200, on the other hand, is a current gen, ARM V9, this is ARM V9 generation. Now, both SOCs are built on a four nanometer process, but the 7S Gen 2 is made by Samsung, whilst the Dimensity 7200 is made by TSMC. And of course, without equivocation, at this point in time, in 2024, TSS's process is better than Samsung's process. Maybe Samsung will find a way to come back in the future. I don't really know. But at this point in time, as we speak, TSMC's process is much better. So when you put all of this stuff together, without question, the Dimensity 7200 is the better performer. It's got the better. The 2A715 CPU cores there is going to smoke the four A78s there. Now that's not to say the A78 CPU cores are not good performers, they are. But when you hold it up to the A715s, there is no question. None at all. The, the A715s will do better than the, the A78s from the Snapdragon 7 S Gen 2. And if you also go there and you talk about the, the GPUs, that's the um, graphics performance, the Mali 6 
the, the Mali G610 MP4 it would also perform better than the Arduino 710. So when it comes to performance, generally speaking, the Dimensity 7200 is going to perform a lot better. Now if you can you can check this by going to check Antutu version 10, and you can see quite clearly that the Dimensity 7200 scores around 720, 725k points on Antutu 10, whilst the Snapdragon 7 S Gen 2 just around 600k just around 600k so you can see that there's a bit of a gap in terms of performance between these two socs but moving on we want to talk about like ram and storage that's for multitasking and then to st hold stuff on your phone and then to be able to see because storage is not only for holding stuff storage also helps your your cpu because anytime you want to load the game or load an app your cpu has to go to the storage to retrieve the files of the app to you know work on them to render them on the display so the faster the storage the better the faster the ram also the better so these will help your cpu perform their tasks now both socs are tied they use they both use lpd 5 ram current gen ram which is actually very snappy and then when it comes to storage both of them also support ufs 3.1 storage so both of them are tied in this aspect so the fact now is that um dimensities uh dimensity 7200s um better cpu cores are going and better gp is going to make use of these ram and storage much better than the Snapdragon 7 s uh, gen 2. with that let's move on let's talk about multimedia multimedia so when it comes to multimedia obviously we know that sd chips Snapdragon chips tend to perform better than but again a lot of it is also down to the optimization from the company using these socs and the choice of the camera lens used so take that and put it in the back of your mind that it's not always like it's not always black and white when it comes to this stuff so and the 7s gen 2 has a spectra isp and it has this, it houses a hexagon dsp for ai you know all those ai stuff that we do on our cameras nowadays you know circle to delete remove blah 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 and all those new stuff that they're bringing on board yeah it's handled by the hexagon dsp on the snapdragon 7 uh 7s gen 2. on the dimensity side you have the mediatek imagic isp as well as the mediatek apu that is artificial intelligence processor unit that's the apu 650 that's what you find there now both as both of these SOCs can support up to 200 megapixel cameras and then they can also record 4k video at 30 fps so yeah finally let's move on let's talk about um network connection now both SOCs are 5g SOCs. so yeah they both support mm wave and sub 6 gigahertz but um, that would then depend on the manufacturer the manufacturer so manufacturers may choose to not put mm wave support in order to make their smartphones cheaper but that one is up to them but both of them uh, both support 5g and then they also both support 4g and they also uh, they support uh, download speeds of 4g of up to cat 21 cat 22 so both of them are basically tied in that aspect. So they also both support Bluetooth 5.3 and Wi-Fi 6. So if you put all of these things together, you would see that they are mostly very tied, mostly. Where the Dimensity 7200 steps ahead is when it comes to performance. However, Snapdragon SOCs are a bit more optimized for apps and tasks and games and what have you than mediatek soc so that could help in bridging the gap a little bit and it also doesn't help that ssm snapdragon socs tend to have better image processing and better video encoding and decoding although mediatek are coming up they are trying their best they are trying to meet up but at this point i can objectively say that qualcomm snapdragon still has the lead apart from the multimedia they are both tied in network connection so you could say most that when it comes to performance right this dimensity 7200 has a slender lead ahead of the 7s gen personally i would i would want it because people always ask me jeffrey which one are you going to choose personally for me i think i may lean towards the dimensity 7200 but when it comes to these two there really isn't that much of an outright clear winner 
even though one could say objectively that the Dimensity 7200 does have the advantage, and it does in terms of performance, right? This the optimization for, for the performance optimization in the Snapdragon 7S Gen 2 may tend to close that gap a little bit. Then when it comes to multimedia, um, you've got your RAM, you've got your storage, you've got your cameras, you've got your video, you've got your displays. It's basically, they are mostly tied with a slight edge going to the Snapdragon 7S Gen 2. And then finally, when it comes to network connectivity, they, I can't really split them down the line. So that's all that there is for you to know about the Snapdragon 7S Gen 2 versus the Dimensity 7200. Are you interested in these two SOCs? Which one would you like to get? Yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to like comment and share also make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell with small actions like this that helps more channels like mine grow my name is jeffrey once more and i'll see you next one bye, -bye.